Good morning. Happy uh, <coughs> Tuesday. <laughs> I woke up still sick, <laughs> but uh, Daniel's nurse didn't come in today. And it, on top of it, he's still sick. He had a breathing treatment. He's been coughing. I'm monitoring him. I just gave him some meds, so I haven't restarted his feed yet. I'm going to let that settle in. This is his pulse ox monitor. I'm just watching his uh, his breathing. He's been coughing a lot, so he needs to be seen today. I'm just assessing where and who. If it's the hospital, I need to uh, get myself a little ready because sometimes I can be there for a long time. And yeah, that's kind of what's happening here in Julie's world this morning. Green St. Patrick's Day. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. It looks so festive. Kind of struggling too to breathe a little bit um, congested. I'm on antibiotic uh, Augmentin, which they gave me for my sinus infection. Yeah, I don't really know. It's something we both have. So I think it's just a matter of getting through it. Daniel might need support at the hospital, so. We'll see how the day goes. I'll keep checking in. It's like he's nodding off to sleep. We'll let him rest. Just put in, uh, all of his laundry was dirty. Again, <laughs> just did like a bunch, but it's okay. I can do this. I can. Even sick, I can do this. I've been here before. Many, many winters of being sick with him <laughs> because sometimes you just can't, unless you wear like a hazmat suit around each other, you can't prevent airborne germs. Everyone's gonna sneeze and cough and ev even with a mask on, when you're the one caring for the other person, <laughs> it's almost impossible. <laughs> Plus, who knows, he could have given it to me. So, whatever. What are you going to do? All right, that's what's happening on Tuesday morning. I got to sit down and uh, kind of check into the day and make sure I called all the right people. And I'm just very happy. I, I posted, I'm so happy that we went to a new pulmonary doctor last week because now at least we have someone who is a new breathing doctor on board. So, what would happen if he got really, really sick respiratory? We'd Either I would just take him straight up to New Haven, to the hospital there, to the emergency room by a half hour drive. Or I would go to Danbury Hospital, which is nearby, and they would transfer him probably to Yale because now that we have a specialty who is overseeing his care, they would want him there. So chances are, if, if I go anywhere, it'll either be... I might just go right straight to the source, to, to the regular hospital he would be in if he was sick anyway. Um, that's just his alarm telling me his heart rate went down, but that's normal because he's sleeping. It's okay. It's set pretty high actually. It's set at 65, which he's okay. He's actually resting at a good oxygen level at room air, which is a good thing, so. And sometimes I go to the emergency room thinking he can't breathe, it's the end of the world, everything is terrible. Then I get there and they send me home because everything is fine. Because Daniel is crazy. <laughs> He's a crazy kid. We always called it the Daniel Factor. The Daniel Factor especially referred to when he was younger because they would say to me, oh, he's okay, you know, we'd be ready to be discharged with one of many illnesses. And all of a sudden his oxygen level would just like drop into the 80s and they didn't know why. Like he would just like. So I am taking mega vitamin C. I got myself lots of tangerines and spinach, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, I don't know you name it. I even have vegan protein powder in here. This kind is like pea protein from Trader Joe's and John doesn't like it at all. He's like so gross, but I actually don't mind it. I like the vegan proteins. They always feel a little easier on my stomach. Some of those heavy whey protein drinks, 
really give me like a belly ache. Tangerines, protein drinks, vitamin C, antibiotics, tons of fluid, something hot to drink. If we need it, we have oxygen, albuterol, and two other kinds of inhalers, nasal sprays, <laughs> saline sprays, air purification, camphor for the air, eucalyptus. What else do we need? Hot shower with steam. We'll, we'll get through this, Daniel. Cause, Cause sometimes, you know, you, you, when you have to go to the hospital, you have to go to the hospital. Trust me, I know we've spent months there. But other times when it's kind of like borderline and he can sleep and rest in his bed like this, sometimes that's better, you know, then he's not exposed to strange germs and, and the, the sleeplessness that comes along with hospitals because you just don't rest well. He looks like he needs to be there for support for IVs or which is the biggest thing if he needs IV or if he needs oxygen to sustain him or if he looks like he has a bad pneumonia or need x-rays or whatever so I'm probably the one who needs extra I can't even breathe this morning I'm gonna sit down now you know once my medicine and my Advil kicks in and my coffee kicks in I don't feel as bad as I did when I woke up this morning just stuffy Everybody raise their hand. Who isn't stuffy right now? You know what I mean? Like, everybody's stuffy. Plus, the flu is going around. The pediatrician's office said that um, they've had many diagnoses, diagnosed cases of influenza, A and B. So sweet. gonna do but be who you are and guess who has to call work and say mm, I can't come oh, God. why do I even try to work I'd be a very good nurse not just for my own son but I love taking care of people it's really amazing even when they're mad at you it's just what I like to do. I love taking care of people, talking to people, caring about people. So either a nurse or a... That's a good cough. Can you do another one? Okay, so I spoke to the... It's better. It's up to 95. That's just... Well, heart rate's going up a little bit. So, anyway. Uh, 92. Ooh, where did I go? I am showered and clean. Daniel just woke up. And had I just gave him his breathing treatments. He clearly is sick, so I spoke to the the new doctor that, um, let's turn this off, hold on, that we met last week, the pulmonary doctor. She really was like, well, if I, I can leave a message for the doctor, but he won't be able to call you back until the end of the day because he's busy. I said, well, I think I'm just going to going to let him know that I'm going to bring Daniel to the ER there at the hospital where that doctor is. I'm going to go to that emergency room where that doctor is. At least if they have to admit him, say they find something, then I'll be at the right hospital. So do two things. Number one, get him ready. Number two, drop some something off for Thomas, which is on the way. And he's going to run out and run in, whatever. And then I'll be good. He needs money for dinner and music because I don't know when I'll be back. We're going to go see the doctor, okay? Get you all fixed up. 
I took her from here. To here. So I don't know where you are. I Hi friends, we're in the emergency department. I just thought I'd vlog for a minute. Here's Daniel. He's been tested for flu. We don't know yet if it's positive, but he does have pneumonia. So we're like in the middle of the fishbowl. Very busy here. But he says hello. He's being patient. Um, yeah, we don't really know what's going to happen. So I have his iPad and I'm going to play some movies or something for him. Yeah. So loud. Play with it. Play with your iPad. Now who's... There you go. What are you talking about? A6. A6 hallway. Yeah, she did. I don't know what's beeping. Probably the blood pressure thing. Because he had a meltdown and ripped it off. No pillow. Let's see what time is it. Yeah, so we were in the hallway for six hours and I was like, can I just go home? Because you know he has pneumonia, so can you just give me something? I'll go to the pharmacy and go home. And then they moved us in here, so now we're taking up a room in the ER that's probably needed by someone else. <laughs> they keep telling me they have a room for him, but if they had a room for him, why are we still stuck down here? He's getting no breathing treatments. Okay. I'm eating banana chips. <laughs> That's all I have in my purse. That and a tangerine. I've had a very hard day, guys. I'm really worried about him. His numbers do not look good. But apparently nobody cares. Here. Wanna hold one? 